Don't you be afraid. Hey guys, welcome to the ANX Weekly Update, where we bring you the latest video game, anime, and movie news. I'm Unbiased Ann, and I'm here with Genesis and Mike B. What's up, guys? What up? What's happening? We back? Yes, who's back? Back, back again. again. Hey, I see what you did there. That's like a teaser <laughs> yes. for the next round. I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. Stop doing that. Um, anyway. <laughs> Uh, anyway, it's been a while. It's been, what two months, three months, something. It's supposed to be the weekly update. This is becoming mm-hmm. the quarterly update. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> for the real. Next quarterly update. Um, all the latest games from On the this past quarter. <laughs> you know, what we missed? Three months. Um. Anyway, we've been gone. It's been a lot of stuff going on. I said I was going to do a video, kind of outline and everything that was going on. Not going into detail, but let's see. We had a death in the family. Mm. As far as one one of our one of our people on the show on the version TV or mm. on on A and X Gamecast, we have three people move. We had uh, one of those people move twice. Uh, we had a positive COVID case. We had um, positive COVID as far as in their immediate household. Two people uh, tested positive somewhere else. We had uh, positive uh, cancer, uh, and we had uh, surgery gosh um so yeah that, that's that's what's oh uh, we had a promotion hey. like at least that's something positive but that's also something that sometimes uh um um you know adds more to people's plates yeah yeah so mm. I, I, th- I feel like i'm missing something but that it's been a whole lot going on so that's where we've been um if anybody here wants to share which one of those things happened to them go ahead i'm not gonna put your business out there in the street but if y'all want to go ahead like b you good i'm all right so I had surgery on okay. my eye. and so it you're the surgery person. Mm-hmm. Ended up causing a big black eye that okay. would not oh, go gosh. away. That's racial. <laughs> and then uh, a couple weeks after I had my eye surgery, then I found out that I was, that I had cancer on my nose. So oh, I had to have gosh. another surgery, so to speak. So I had stitches in my face. Ooh. And then anyway, it's, but everything's good now. All right. Mike? I was the COVID guy. You were the COVID guy, so well, you one were, of well, we as far as people that come and do our show, mm-hmm. we only had one positive case. Yeah. Oh gosh. But there was like another person who had two people in their household, right? Who had COVID, so they needed to quarantine as well. But you actually had the COVID. Yes. Was it terrible? Yes, it was horribly bad. Did I it feel good? Like, no, <laughs> not in the least bit. I was just sitting there like. Okay, I got the positive test. <laughs> Time to strap in. <laughs> oh gosh, this is horrible. So I think Let I me heard... start calling people and scaring them. Yeah. yeah. Oh gosh, it's so funny because people are like, "You had COVID? Wait a minute, I was right next to you." And <laughs> that was, that was people, us. Oh my gosh, everybody was freaking out. I was like, "I'm so sorry." Well, at least you had the de- decency to tell people. Yeah, you know, I I'm, it, I don't think it'll be right if I didn't tell anybody. No. You so, know, and so what's crazy is a lot of the da- Dallas Mavericks test positive. Ooh, over the past wow. three weeks and mm-hmm. they've been out what the crazy story i heard is just like they tested positive because they were like around people who had it and then they mm-hmm. tested positive but they weren't sick so it was the, the scary part for them was just like literally sitting around alone in a hotel room yeah in utah because that's yeah. where they were just waiting for like some crazy sickness to hit because you know you have it mm-hmm. so that that was that was a crazy part so what you're saying is everybody should wear a mask yes absolutely and like keep, hey keep, it's real i'll and, let you know right now and keep the six feet and keep six feet oh how about this because when it hit me i was like hey man i don't know what that is man. give me 50 feet give me 50 um feet. <laughs> anyway that's not our normal intro but we ain't done an intro in a while so <laughs> oh, that's just our official update uh for us personally mm-hmm. y'all ready to get to the show let's do it y'all ready for round one let's get it round one. Oh, funko hey. pop of the week somebody was just singing Hey man, what? Oh, rapping some. Man, some, look at look at that man. Hey, some Eminem, B Rabbit, B Rabbit from your favorite mm. movie ever. It's my favorite movie. It's a good movie. It's a good hey. movie. It's my favorite movie ever made. Let me tell you the funny thing about it. It did not click to me, but when Robot Chickens did that, uh, that, uh, that joke. Did you see the Robot Chickens? I the don't. Joke they did I don't on know. Them? I don't watch. I don't know what that is. Oh well. I don't know what that is. It either. was Bugs Bunny basically doing the eight. Oh, okay. Thing. He it was, was in, he was battling. Who was he battling though? He, Elmer Fudd. 
Okay, that makes sense. It was B Rabbit versus Elmer Fudd. Oh, oh uh, Rabbit. Oh, yeah. because he's a rabbit. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's funny. <laughs> so this is just here just because it's my favorite Ooh. movie. And it was so nice. I had to buy it twice. Oh, man. Come on, man. I want one, man. Come on, fam. You see, the steel case ain't even open. I know, fam. They sucking me in with that steel case. It Wasn't was... that... That was his That was his nickname. His mom called him that or something, right? That's in the how movie? He, that's how he got the B-Rabbit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay. That's why I was like, oh, I see. Like, I didn't... It didn't click to me until I was like, oh, yeah, that is right. No, so, I mean Bunny Rabbit. His mom called him Bunny Rabbit. That's how he got B-Rabbit. Yeah. Okay. So mm-hmm. in, in your robot chicken, it was did Elmer Fudd actually rap or did yeah like, he did rap or just like in Eight Mile did he choke and just not rap? No, uh, B Rabbit actually uh he choked, and then that's when like like and then that's when he came back with the good flows. Oh, okay. they did and it then, just like the movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, this is the Funko Pop of the week. <clears throat> it just came out of so so even though we've been gone, the Funko Pop still come in. The game still come in. We still mm-hmm. gaming. Mm-hmm. We still watching anime. We still collecting pops. So we ain't stopped. You know, can't stop, won't stop. Um, I, I just didn't want to get on with mm-hmm. a big black eye. Right, right. And and Mike was not allowed to come over. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I mean, understand. Come on, Kobe. I understand. I mean, come on. I don't take any offense. <laughs> yeah, it's like eh, keep pushing our shows on YouTube and get COVID or just uh, take a break. Eh, yeah. Let's just take a break. I anyway. mean, we could have done it like virtually, but you would have seen me just dying right there. Like, guys, hold on. Give me a second. I don't know. That might have got all the clicks. Right. Probably so. Watch Mike B die on camera. <laughs> <laughs> that is horrible. It is. Um, But anyway, this this pop is dope. It actually looks dope. Um, And the movie's dope. And the rapper's dope. So it's just like, this is a dope pop. I mean, I got one. Um, that's worth like a whole bunch of money <laughs> that I got in. I'll probably mm. do that next week or next quarter. Um, but this one, I was like, I I got to do Eminem. Got to do, got to do B Rabbit. B Rabbit. Uh, and let me throw that out there for any hip hop heads out there. Uh, Lotto, Lotto beat B Rabbit in in the in the battle. I'm just putting that out there. Mm. Lotto killed it. Was that the beginning? My goodness. Mm-mm. That was at the end when he was winning. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, Lotto killed him. Oh. So, anybody who wants to see that, go watch that. Anybody who wants to buy that pop description down in the link below. What else we got? Annex updates. Oh. Hey. Hyrule Warriors. So not only are we coming back with a new episode of the Annex Weekly Update, we did the Annex Gamecast as well. Uh, we reviewed Hyrule Warriors. We talked about Angel Cop, Millionaire Detective, Record of Grand, Grand Crest War, and our first impressions of WandaVision episodes one through four. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, check it out. Check it out. Check it out, y'all. Check it, check it out, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying something, man. Y'all ready? He's MCing over there. Yeah, y'all ready for round Try two? Try to be like B rap, man. Okay. Round two. All right, we got some new games. We got mm. new games that came out. Okay. Or it's coming out this week. Let's put it that way. Okay, okay. Uh Blue Fire for the Switch. Still shaded platformer mm. i don't know if this is an indie game because then nintendo all on it like nintendo was like yeah put yeah, our stamp of this stamp of approval on that so mm. i don't know who made this i just i don't like platformers period i mean this game it mm-hmm. looks solid it looks it doesn't look like the smoothest game but it doesn't look bad and the graphics are like cool and then you guys you know mm-hmm. especially when he, he, they started changing this little costume i was like okay mm-hmm. some of those costumes look dope uh but i'm not a platform person I don't like platformers, so this is gonna be a no for me. Well, uh, it's a no for me. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you it, just you were just telling me you wanted to grow your Switch collection. So yeah, here you go. No, so no, you got no, to get no, Blue Fire. No, you got to have you, something no. in the bees. Oh no, no, he's like I didn't mean like this. Don't don't sit there and put that on me. No, I'm trying to grow the collection, but not, with, not I don't want that in my collection. Oh, he wants. Good I'm stuff. not saying I don't. I wouldn't mind if somebody gave it to me. Yeah, it'd be in my collection. But I mean, it's just not what I'm looking for right now, you know. <laughs> okay, it's just not in the market for it's that. It's not me, yeah. it's you. Self shaded exactly. platformer. What I'm you not got trying to play that? that? Um, yeah, it didn't look very good to me as far as like a game you would play, but it did remind me of like a Tim Burton movie. Okay, because it was all kind of spooky. So you like Tim Burton? Music. Yeah, I do. Yeah. You trying to sell me on this? Support his games then. No, it's I mean, like I said, game. it doesn't. I mean, I oh, guarantee you. I guarantee you. Maybe if I looked at it and I was like. You know, I'll probably play it if somebody just gave it to me. I'll be like, ah, yeah, it was actually pretty fun. But I'm not gonna go out of the way to get it. No. I'm trying to get, get it. 
Super Mario and all that kind of stuff. Especially when you got to drop Legend fifty, sixty dollars. It's like this yeah, don't this don't look like a fifty, sixty dollar game. We would have to look it up, but I no. Okay, good because I was like, yeah. I didn't think so. This look like an indie game. I mean, this look like it's twenty, thirty dollars, but. If it is sixty dollars, then woo. Yeah, know. that's what I'm saying. You know, that's what I'm thinking at. at I'm thinking at the sixty dollar price. Like fool, no. Uh, let's get to the next game. Mm-hmm. Destruction All Stars for the PS5. Um, mm. yeah. So this one. So first thing, first thing that I noticed about this game that I didn't like. Mm-hmm. I don't like the. I'm in some big thing. Arena. Right? Mm-hmm. Well, no. Like in this case, it's a car. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's a way for my car to get destroyed, and then now I'm running around yeah. the arena, mm-hmm. and there's other cars still there. I yeah. don't like that. That's one mm. of the things that like I disliked about Titanfall. Like, oh, you can hop in and out of the mech and stuff. Well, once you got out of that Titan, it's yeah. like, yo, like you. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're at a major disadvantage, which makes sense, but it doesn't. That doesn't make for a good experience playing a video game. Mm-hmm. So I can't imagine trying to run around this arena and everybody else has cars. That seems kind of silly to me. Mm-hmm. But um, this also seems like it was made it was made by PlayStation Studios. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm still thinking that this is someone's science experiment. I don't know what other game, car racing game or platformer um, that Sony is putting out. PlayStation Studios is putting putting out. But this mm-hmm. seems like the game that they're testing out certain mechanics for before they put out something really good before yeah. they apply those same mechanics to triple a title over here mm-hmm. so that's what this seems like to me so it's, it's it's gonna be a no for me what you got you know what i would actually play this what yeah, i know i know bro I know. but i mean i mean it's not like i'm gonna just go out this don't seem play. like you bro i mean i'm not gonna what play you been it. doing this? i'm not gonna play it but it, it was because when i was gone man i had a life-changing experience and it made me say <laughs> i need to appreciate more games of course i didn't appreciate the last game that we just did but <laughs> so i'm just saying know, you want to grow your switch to, yeah okay. you know i'm okay. just saying but i feel like if i were to play if this is a multiplayer game which it looked like yeah and i could play it with other people absolutely i think i would actually have a good time kind of playing it with other people I think I have a good time playing it by myself and playing it with random people online. No, but it's like if you or Ann, you know, decide to come together as one and play. It's not happening. It's not going to happen. This is like what wow. they talk about on the news all the time. COVID brain. Yeah. Well, you, st- you still foggy like months after you recover. I don't know. What you're about. I don't know. I kind of had this. <laughs> exactly. Same- <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I kind of had the same thought process, though. I was like, I said, I-, I thought I wouldn't play this game, but this looks like a game that would be fun if you played with a group of friends yes like i wouldn't go buy it but i'm just saying like it looks like it would be more fun the more people you have sitting there with you so so since i'm boycotting ufc because of dana white's antics instead of having those parties we should have a destruction all-star get together on saturday yeah. nights yeah yeah no, that's not happening huh? i i appreciated the color like it was so yeah. pretty all the bright colors and and it seemed like the background was like dark so mm-hmm. the the bright neon mm-hmm. colors like just stood out even more that was really the only thing I liked about it. Because don't get me wrong, this is not my genre of game I would play. This is this it's even not, a genre of game? I mean, it's not it's not <laughs> I mean, my cup of tea. But like I said, it does look fun for a group. Exactly, like yeah. for a group. Because you'll be like surprised. The guitar game, Guitar Hero, or yeah, one of those. Like that's oh, well, I don't know. Guitar Hero go hard. Hold yeah, on. I know, but it's really fun when you play with like like friends all together oh yeah yeah you have like rock band and stuff yeah I, I did that with some friends one time it was fun well I killed some people on medium um I believe it I believe <laughs> it but but the, the the deal about those types of games is it's like fun that one time mm-hmm. maybe exactly. another time but you're, you're not exactly you're not gonna play it again right you're not gonna recreate this experience again mm-hmm. where that's true so anyway um no yes may, maybe yes. maybe 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 and then maybe. Uh, no oh okay next game werewolf the apocalypse yes uh, i think it's still echoing in my ear um <laughs> earth blood um so let's talk about this trailer real quick i'm gonna go ahead and say no what but i'm not gonna scream it because i don't want people out there to die <laughs> what? um like the mic is actually trying to get covid to you through the screen um so everything we saw mm-hmm. was just cgi that is true there, 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 there was no gameplay footage this no whole time. No wonder it looks so good. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. This like, looks good. Wow. This is a cinematic trailer. <laughs> now, I don't know what this is about, but there was some stupid, there was two stupid parts of this trailer to me. Mm-hmm. One, you went from like wood, wooded area where you would think you would see wolves and werewolves mm-hmm. and like 
all that kind of good stuff. And then all of a sudden, everything is flowing towards this like industrial section of this like a city. And it's just like, what? Like, what's happening here? Why? Why? Why are werewolves at the at the warehouse? Okay. But anyway, the second thing, when there was the big transformation at the end, mm-hmm. did y'all y'all didn't notice anything wrong with that whole series of events? Come on now. No, I'm not the. I can't be the only one. Oh, God. what you got? Let me think. Transformation, right? Roof comes off, mm-hmm. and then what? Oh, then the moon, and then the moon. Yeah. Normally, the now, moon comes out first. It's kind of ass backwards. Yeah, that's kind of ass backwards. I'm just well, saying. you know, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of wondering how was he transforming if the moon didn't shine on him, right? Like I, I was, I was, I was honestly thinking about that. But then I, I just chalked it up as maybe the wolves when they come around him, they power his wolfing powers. I like him. Yeah. You um. Know? So yeah, I mean, I don't, and and it's like okay. It tells you, well, it gives you a little bit of story of werewolf and man and him turning into a werewolf with, you know, but what, what, what else do you do? What, what, what else is there to the game? What are you supposed to do? Yeah. I have no idea. They didn't show. Here's my thing. It got me hyped where I'm like, oh, I love the trailer. But like you said, but then on the on the other side, like you said, it's like, you go, what is it about? Do you attack the warehouse workers? Because here's the thing about it. Here's the jacked up thing about it. This could be a real cold trailer and it could be a card game. Could be. You, we would never know. Yeah, exactly. So, right, I mean, I got a trick like that so many times. So many times. <laughs> um, hold on. Wait, uh, my button's out of order. Hey. <laughs> hey, come on. Now. Um, But I mean, so, I mean, do you just you turn to the you turn into the werewolf and then you. You go attack Shinmu at the docks? Is that what we're doing here? Maybe I, I should bite another. Maybe? I don't, I don't know. I didn't like it. I just thought it had good graphics, but that makes sense that it was all CGI. Yeah. It, mm. that was not game. Uh, yeah. Come on now. But the story, I was just like... Um, it, they didn't even really show no see, story. Because I wonder, is it going to be third person, first person? You know? Right. I, now, only thing that had me intrigued is what's up with the tree? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so pretty though. So I mean that's how far you went. You had just like tree and blood was like starting to come mm-hmm. out of the tree. Yeah. To this like, you know, Shinmu racing forklift forklifts on the other side, you yep. know. Mm-hmm. Um at the at the warehouse. So I, I was like, okay, so it's gonna be a no for me. It's a yes for me. Right for right now. I mean come on man. I like that trailer. All right, so it says it's coming out for the Xbox Series X, so that's oh, you. God. Man, watch them. It's gonna be a fluke for me. I'm gonna say no, but I do very much appreciate the red leaves and on the black and white mm-hmm. and it flowing through. Like I thought that was really awesome. Okay. So if y'all want a really good experience, go check out the trailer. Otherwise, don't buy this game. Next. <laughs> control. Control. Ooh. Um Music make me lose control. Tell me what you think about that first trailer we saw. Yeah, I don't know what that wasn't even a trailer. I don't know what IGN was doing. Shout out. Ugh. Um I think it was just trying to show the graphics mm-hmm. uh, because this, this, this controller is already out. This is the controller is now coming out for next gen consoles this week. So that's what's happening mm-hmm. there. So I think they were showing the difference in the graphics. Um, it looks like you can cool. You can do very cool thing. I've, I haven't played control. I believe it was free with Xbox game pass, uh, ultimate game pass, but I never played it. It looks like you can do cool things in the game. It doesn't look like it all flows and meshes really good Mm -hmm. um it looks like there's a lot going on but almost like you're moving a real like a slow a slow pace Mm -hmm. it's it's very strange i know what you mean uh it it just seems off off in that kind of way uh now the second trailer for the actual game the ps4 trailer i mean it it gave i was like okay Mm -hmm. shooting somebody in the head but then the next scene it's like you didn't shoot him in the head because you were just using your fingers so I was like, what is going on here? Mm-hmm. Um, but it, it just, it looks like they spent a lot of money in doing the cool stuff. Mm-hmm. Jedi moving stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But like the graphics didn't seem that great. And there's some other parts that kind of don't, don't look great about this. So what would you think about Control? Mm, you know what? I feel like from what I was seeing, it could be a really interesting story. It's like something where I'm like, man, I even think about that. That's really good. But like you said, with some of the control motions and I was seeing, I was like, eh, that doesn't look, like you said, not as smooth as mm-hmm. I thought it was going to look. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, I, from my understanding, she can like control certain things and throw it mm-hmm. or like probably move, like control your environment type deal. Uh, that's what I'm guessing. 
And um, I, I mean, I was like, eh, I mean, I, I get it, but I'm not that excited or anything, you know? This could this could have been a cool like Dark Phoenix game or Jean Grey or something. Oh, it probably could have. What you think? It looks really good to me. Uh oh, you gonna play I, it? Yeah, hey. I mean, it looked like I was really interested in the story. Yeah. I loved the music. Oh my gosh, that mm-hmm. was awesome. Um, the only thing I didn't like is that whenever it showed her, like flying kind Loading of around, mm-hmm. it looked like a real person on a harness, yep. like in a movie. Yep, and it I. Did. I I was like just, tiger. Yeah, every time mm-hmm. I saw it, I was like, that doesn't look like a video game type of float in the air. That literally looks like it's a person hanging by the. the, the mm-hmm. Yeah, like even cord. the way they were hanging. Like, it's yeah. just everything. I was just like, no, that was not good. Yeah. So, uh, what, what I will say is that if it is still available for the Xbox Ultimate Game Pass, and now again, this is a, this is a game that's now coming out for the PS5 and Xbox Series X. So, if it's still there, I'll try it out because it's free. Yeah. But otherwise, it's a no. It's a maybe for me. Yes. Oh. And by yes, I mean yes for you. So I can watch. <laughs> uh, you got yes by default. Uh, if it's free. Oh, if hey, it's man. Free. Hey, man. I'm going to solve him out of my business, you know? <laughs> Ain't nothing in that can. I know. <laughs> you finished that off on the last show. I know. Um. Anyway, y'all ready for the next game? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready, man. Neo. Ooh. So this is actually Neo. I did my best with the graphics here, but it's like whatever. It's Neo. Mm. It's Neo and Neo Two Complete Edition mm. for last gen, which means PS4, right? And then we have Neo and Neo Two Remastered for PS5. Mm. So like four games, four Neo games are are coming out mm-hmm. in the next week. Uh, what did you think about what we saw with Neo? Because you 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 the Neo fan, not me. Yeah, you know, I mean, it looked like Neo. Well, it looked better than. <laughs> let's put it this way: it looked better than Neo. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Here, here's what I would say: the 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 one for PS5, the graphics look yeah considerably it, better than it was what beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Now, what what I would say, um, I mean, I would be absolutely interested to see it. Like, I mean, we got to see it, like how they did, like the uh, Neo one. Because Neo One came out a while back, mm-hmm. but seeing it like remastered and up, it's like, oh, that looks cool. It, yeah. In all honesty, it's more closer to Neo Two mm-hmm. what they did, which I was like, that's what's up. Um, I mean, it's, I mean, it's just the same. If you played Neo, you know, you 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 know what's already going to be in the game. It's just up graphics, but I mean, gra- graphics was one of the things that I did not that I scored poorly on when we when we reviewed Neo Two. I believe mm-hmm. we did it with Terrence. Shout out. Um. The graphics were, were like a like a problem. Like they mm-hmm. didn't look like PS4 graphics. And then like mm-hmm. I played Ghost of Tsushima like right at that same time. Oh my gosh. And it was just like, what what is this Neo crap, man? Like, yeah, you like man, I went Final Fantasy Seven. I think oh. Final Fantasy Seven came yeah. out. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. Neo two just doesn't even like it's not even close. And then I, I'm not a fan of the game or the gameplay itself. Oh, I understand. Because it's like a Souls game. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like even with better graphics, it's kind of like now on the trailer for the PS5 version, they did show multiple things that they've changed and upgraded. Mm. So it's like y'all know it's something wrong with y'all game. Y'all know it's not a perfect game. Let's put it that way. It's gonna talk, keep talking trash about Neo, huh? It's not good. It's not. I mean, good it was game. some. It was somewhat fun, man. I mean, it was fun. What am I talking about? It was great. It was somewhat fun. No, <laughs> you, you said it. You said it with your no. chest too. No, it was somewhat fun. No. Is gonna keep ripping on Neo, Neo, and Neo Two, huh? Well, I'm just saying there were better games out. Okay, I agree. When, but, when Neo Two came out, there were better games out. Uh, Neo wasn't on my radar. Like I don't know what came out when I don't even know when Neo came out, but it wasn't on my radar. It's not a game I own. But Neo mm-hmm. Two uh, got on my radar, and it just there were, again there were better games out. Mm. So um, here's my problem with this: as of right now, with next gen. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the next gen games that came out late, I mean, current, uh, previous gen games that came out late mm-hmm. had kind of like a, a f- certain versions have free upgrades to next gen. Mm-hmm. Right. So I got Kobe, Kobe, a Dick Kobe, the Mamba mm-hmm. edition for mm-hmm. NBA 2K21. And that gave me the free PS5 upgrade. Mm-hmm. This, however, it's like, no, nah, it's like this a whole different game for the PS5 and I have to yeah. go buy it. But the one thing they did say is that my, your save file can come over. Mm-hmm. So it's like, like what? What am I buying then? Yeah, that's what I'm like. Because in all honesty, 
I'm gonna be honest. I'm not looking forward to buying this because I'm like I already have Neo Two, right? And I'm like I have no reason to start get over, it. basically. Or yeah, you know, I mean, well, technically you're bringing your save file over. But oh, that's what you're saying. Okay. So it says it does say the complete edition. Mm-hmm. So it's like maybe you get DLC and stuff, or yeah, right. You're definitely gonna get all the DLC. So maybe mm-hmm. if you're a Neo Two fan and you haven't bought the DLC yet, mm-hmm. and you have a PS Five, this is a whole lot of ooh. This is a whole lot of yeah. and ifs, right? It's like we yeah. This is good some, for the newer people getting into it. But if but for me, yeah. So if you I, ne- I see no value though. Yeah, if you never played it or if you own if you own Neo 2 but haven't bought any DLC, maybe. I don't know how much this costs. So this could Looks be like the, a lot. This could be well, this could be the first cheap game yeah. for the PS5. It could be like 30 bucks. Because oh. if it's 30, then it'll probably be worth it. I'll probably be like, yeah, maybe I can't throw 30 to get it. Kind of like those Street Fighter games that kept coming out, even mm-hmm. though they, they said they weren't going to do that, but they mm-hmm. did it anyway. But those were only like $30, $20, yeah. right? So it's, it's essentially the same game you got. You just downloaded some extra DLC. Mm-hmm. So if it's like that, then maybe. But it's like, yo, man, like. I'm just saying, games, I think they were already talking about how like some of these games are going to like shoot up to like 70 eventually. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, man, that's. I'm not trying to like spend like, like, like like a grand or like a, a large amount of money all in. like over on like all these games where i'm like man i gotta pick and choose you know okay pick yeah because it's easy it adds up it does you know what i mean so, so i can't rem- uh, so there was four games here i'm gonna say no to all of them what you got no to all of them too no but i will say that it was beautiful and the music was dope okay. oh yeah all right let's see what else we got here that's it Oh, you trying to sell me back on this game again, huh? Man, you need to go and put this. I in think your he did that on purpose. Bro. Yeah, I know, put right? This, he knew that was it. Blue fire. Okay. Uh, y'all, y'all ready for round three? Yes. Yeah, let's go. Round three. Oh, Ooh. yeah. I mean, come on, y'all know we had to talk about this. We can't. We came back just for this. We actually were like, you know what? We never gonna do another show again. And this happened. We were like, y'all, we gotta go talk about this in this quarter. <laughs> Hold on. First off, I gotta represent a I almost went and put my uniform on. i was gonna I say where's, are you for real? where's your name tag it's in the it's in the closet i know wow that's too funny i still got my i still got all my stuff for blockbuster anyway uh so my news of the week as everybody are i mean if you ain't heard about this and yet there's something something wrong with you uh but anyway uh reddit folks got the game stop stock to go through the roof mm-hmm uh, costing certain companies like billions of dollars like one hedge fund lost like 19 billion dollars mm. oh so there were different now i heard about one that lost like five billion but there was another one that lost 19 yeah Whew. um so it's not just gamestop but gamestop is the main thing here because you know we're gaming mm-hmm. you know but blockbuster blockbuster came up from you know that quarter of a penny stock and went up to 24 cents man i saw it hey it's a lot of money yes like for real for real. yeah no it is like it don't sound like a lot of money but that's that's a lot that's a lot of money when you mm-hmm. got anything that shoots up 700 percent. that means you can get 700 percent return on your money yeah. yeah so whatever uh amc theaters is in the mix uh blackberry uh is also in the mix there's a bunch of other places too but um yeah I, i'm just this has been an insane week of news. It's been crazy with this. And, yeah, and I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not here to break it down on what it is and what it isn't and how it came to be. But it's just like this. I guess this is my message to GameStop. GameStop, as of right now, you're coming out on top. You're making money from this, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You need to make sure you invest that money wisely and do do something. Right. For real, bro. And and I've been saying this. Like this little graphic here, say GameStop. Man, I already had that because we don't talk about GameStop. I don't know how many times on the ANX Weekly Update. Mm-hmm. Y'all need to do something, and y'all need to do something fast. And this could like could not come at a better time. Like right, right after, so true. right after your surge, fourth quarter surges where you still took a loss. Mm-hmm. Right, you still took a loss fourth quarter, even with PS Five and Xbox and and brand new. Okay, you still you still took a loss. So this could not come at a better time. What you gonna do with it? Hope they do something with it. What you what you gonna do with it? Because you had a lot of people betting on them uh going bankrupt. So I mean just Yeah. I mean I, I don't know what the answer I don't know what the right answer is, but not my job to know mm-hmm. what the right answer is. But what are you gonna do? I mean, cause y'all yeah, they got stores, they got physical stores, and we all know that you know the world's going in a different direction from that. But y'all stores are so tiny. Mm-hmm. Right. Y'all got tiny, tiny stores. Mm-hmm. So I don't I don't know what the answer is, but y'all y'all need to make sure y'all capitalize on this. Now for all the people out there. 
Y'all need to capitalize too. You want me to tell you something funny? Um, when this stuff was going on with the whole GameStop stock, it's still going on. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's still going on. But like, this is a screenshot from like a couple of hours ago. It's so funny because my brother had called me, and I was like, I was just knocked out sleep. He called me. It was like, he was like, bro. He was like, little bro. He was like, hey. He was like, do you still have your AMC stock? I was like. Uh, let me see. No, no, I I, I sold it all. And I went for C- uh Cinemark. I was like, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, because <laughs> he had like my brother had a ton of it, right? Yeah. And he was like, oh, I should have kept it. And then we were sitting there like, man, we could have made like a ton of money off of that, man. Yeah, I mean, you you. I, so it's hard to kick yourself with that now. It's hard. It's harder to kick yourself. I mean, it's easy to kick yourself when you actually had the stock. Yeah, that's a little bit different story. But I mean, with with this though. I mean, companies like I feel like GameStop is still gonna go bankrupt. BlackBerry oh, yeah. is still going away. Blockbuster is not coming back. Right. Basically, what I'm saying is the hedge fund people are correct in their assessment of these companies. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, is it crappy what they do to these companies, especially at the end of life? Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's pretty it's pretty crappy. Uh, these people want to come out. And I said I want to get into the weeds with it, but whatever. I'm here now. Uh, these people want to come out and say, well, what what's happening on Reddit is collusion. And it's not it's not right. It's it's, it's illegal. It's blah blah blah. What's the difference of hedge funds going out and buying, uh, short selling, you know, billion, millions of dollars worth of stock? That's mm-hmm. basically them telling the world, we think this company is going under. Right. And I'm going to take full yeah. advantage of it. And, and, and so what happens mm-hmm. when when the head, big hedge funds do that and they they everybody else sells? Mm-hmm. Now, what happens at the end of the day? When, they make a ton of money. When, well, yeah, yeah. but outside of the money, what happens to the company at oh. the end of the day if everyone sells their stock? Of it that goes company? down yep. for real. Yeah, it just it just accelerates and expedites the the, the bankruptcy and the closing down of the company. Mm-hmm. So I don't know how that's any different. Like I'm telling the world, this company's going bankrupt, and I'm telling you that by buying by by short selling all of the stock. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what the difference is, but whatever. Kind of like how you did me on Monopoly, but whatever. Wow. I'm still I'm still looking to find somebody who want to play Monopoly for real money. Oh my god. Don't do it. Let's do this. I mean, oh yes, actually do do it. <laughs> yeah, you're benefiting from it. Yeah, I'm, I'm benefiting I'm from that. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Let's do it. No, 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 no. You're not taking no more of my money. <laughs> He's cold-blooded. Um, so anyway, do you plan on getting into this game? Do you plan on buying some Blockbuster AMC GameStop stock? Yes. Okay. Why are you saying it like that? Why Why are you he saying like you, like you just thought about it? Like you were like, he's looking like, I never thought about that. That is an option. Look, I've, I've been thinking about it like, should I do this? Like, I mean, if everybody's going to buy and hold, I mean, we I can I can do it too, man. Now, I will say, again, I said I want to get into the weeds. Mm-hmm. Here's, here's some more of the weeds. The people who originally started this didn't do it to make money. Mm-hmm. They're just proving a point. They're like, damn the man. Right. They try yeah. to stick it to some billionaires. So all these people out here saying, hold in line, hold in line. It's kind of like, bro, I'm not in it for this world, world takeover, Wall Street takeover, like right. what you try to do. Most people are getting into it now to, 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 to make some money. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, if you were trying to stick it to the man, this company lost $5 billion here, $2 billion here, $19 billion Yeah, here. I prove you. I think you, made, I think you proved your point. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of like, what's the what's your end game? Because at the end of the day, a lot of these hedge funds are gonna get some of their money back, or most of it back, because mm-hmm. this the stock will fall. Well, you know yep. what? The only one that I'm gonna go in, that, I, that I'm interested in going to is the AMC one, only because I've heard rumor that there's gonna be like a like a um, what is it, like a bailout type thing for the movie movie theaters. Mm-hmm. There already has. That's why it shot up. Yeah, so that's that's the oh gosh, I'm a little bit late then. So you know that's the only reason why I'm like eh, AMC. I'll probably go ahead and do that because like once everybody getting the vaccine and going back, yeah, you know, I could buy the stocks low and then hopefully you know profit off of it if it bounces back. Uh, yeah, that'd be a, a long gamble. term. I'm a, I'm yeah. a, I'm gonna I'm gonna say no, but I, I'm a, I'm gonna get into it only for the short term gain mm-hmm. game. Like that's it. Long term gain with these companies is probably bad news. It's a reason why they're short selling these stock. It's a reason mm-hmm. why they put billions on the line. Oh yeah, it's because these companies are are are, are dead in the water, and, well, I, mean, and I don't Black, think they're coming back. I mean, BlackBerry, Blockbuster, Blockbuster only has one one store left, and it's like in a and you can you rent it out just to be like, oh, this is how Blockbuster used to be like. But but see, AMC, mm-hmm. some of their top movies and the big movies, and they were the ones that spoke out about mm-hmm. what was going on with HBO Max and Wonder Woman. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, here's the deal. Vaccines come out, COVID kind of dies down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more people are going to go to the to the theater, but mm -hmm. not if I can just sit at home and give my email address and watch mm -hmm. it for free. I don't well, know. I think people will go back to the movie theater. At first, I thought they wouldn't, but I mm -hmm. really think people will. I don't. I don't. We'll think, see, I don't. I don't that, think we'll see anything close to what we saw. You know, in, with Endgame and like billions of dollars mm -hmm. being made at the box office. I don't. Yeah. Think, I don't think that's happening no more ever. Well, see, that's the thing about it. okay streaming the streaming service like what uh hbo max is doing yep. even though so many people are getting mad at hbo max for doing it i'm like no that's that was gonna be the future of these movies it eventually. Just got, it just got accelerated yeah exactly but like for that for the movie theaters though i like if i did do it like i said i would only bank on people just like oh i just want to get out the house and i can make like a like you said like somewhat of a profit eventually but that's the only one that i'm like confident in of like i can make a profit off of the other ones i'm like mm, i'm not so sure on you have to be but, short term. i'm not i wouldn't play yeah. like i said i wouldn't play the long-term game with any of these i don't blame you just it, just, it would just be the short term and what i mean short term mm -hmm. i mean not checking out the what the stock looks like some weeks from now i'm talking about seeing what the stock looks like hours from now because i believe that they were saying that amc was going to go bankrupt in february anyway so yeah. It's like, um, but the, but all the stuff that's happened has has let them recoup all of their losses for the past for for twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. So they're exactly probably where they w would be, give or take. You know, yeah, yeah. If COVID never happened, but um, they did mm -hmm. secure deals with these people to to fund mm -hmm. them, and that's what um shot them up to begin with. Yeah. So so what do you think? What do you think about this? Oh, I'm in. I'm in for a short. You know, boost. Yeah. Boost Mobile. Is that Cause one? Because that's, that's all you can do right now. Boost Mobile? Oh, is that on there? <laughs> no, um, but you know, I was just so surprised by just, like, you know, they're talking about the GameStop stuff, but then I was like, oh, there are other companies that are they're being boosted up too. Yeah. I was like, I bet Toys R Us wish they would have got some of that. Oh. Yeah, I think I just heard that they, they're closing down the, the, those two stores that they reopened. Or oh, opened really? Up. Yeah, I think they opened one in Houston and, and Jersey. Well, they're supposed oh, to open really? it. I, I had heard a while back they were going to open a store called Jeffrey's. Toy yeah. box. Or yeah, I think something. I think that's what it was. Oh, really? Oh, are yeah. they already closed? Yeah, they're closing oh. those because of COVID. I mean, oh, this, oh. This came yeah, at the worst possible Toys time. Toys R Us. Yeah, that was terrible timing. I know, right, man. Kids will never know, man. I bought so much cool stuff from there. I mean, you know, no, I didn't. It was expensive. It was expensive. I got a couple of good things from there, <laughs> and that's why they went out of business. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> so like I said, there's a bunch to talk about on this topic, but I, I just wanted, you know, I had to bring it up. Y'all ready for the next story? Let's yes. do it. Oh. Question of the week. I always forget about these. New year ain't nothing changed. Uh, <laughs> are you going to buy GameStop stock, or <laughs> GameStop stock, or any other stock of these that's being short I sold by, by the hedge fund? fund? Answer down in the comments section. Let us know. Buy the stock right now. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Whoa! Hey, that's the one of the creators of Yakuza, actually. Never heard of it. Really? Oh gosh. But you have you have heard of the Yakuza series though, right? Huh? You have heard of the Yakuza series, no. right? Uh uh. You never heard of the Yakuza series? Oh, what's that? Okay, so the Yakuza series uh, is He's hey, heard hey, of it. Hey. He's heard of it. I was about to say, man. I was I about heard to say of it from, But you know from you every time you come over here yes well man, we watched that we good. watched that preview where it was like a musical ridiculous but anyway okay so this uh this here is one of the creators of the uh yakuza series ma mainly known for making it uh his name is toshiro nagoshi nagoshi yeah i believe that's how you say it but right now he's actually becoming sega's creative director okay so, you know, Sega's still alive. I know you were talking some mess about it and everything. But um, previously, I believe that he was the chief creative officer. But now he's, been, he's moving up to the director now. Okay. So, um, you know, like I said, you know, they just had the game Yakuza Like a Dragon uh, 7 that just came out mm -hmm. with Ichiban. And, you know, they're actually doing pretty good. So, you know, I kind of wonder if this, I guess, promotion that he's getting is is it coming from the fact that like the success of the Yakuza series? Because when you kind of hear about Sega releasing some really good games that people are talking about, it's the Yakuza series. Like, you know, I know they had like Sonic Forces and all this other stuff, but it's kind of in and out, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't, I'm not saying this is a, the wrong move. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it's a, 
strange move because you have something bigger than him, mm -hmm. bigger than Yakuza. Mm -hmm. You you got Sonic. You have a known entity that you some some reason can't take advantage of. Man, you so know what? it's just like, is is this the way to go? I don't know. It's a way to go. You know, I don't know if it's the right or the wrong answer. But mm -hmm. when, like I said, when you got something like you know Sonic the Hedgehog household mm -hmm. name even to today it's like i don't know if this i don't, I don't think I, they know how to push sonic though man i know they don't i mean it's just like, in and even with the you know sonic x and you got you got sonic stuff mm -hmm. that's around floating around but it's like can we can we make a push or or maybe you're saving up maybe maybe there's a secret dream, dreamcast 2 coming out i mean i think there's right. a market and i i think it would make money just off the name alone if they came out of dreamcast 2 you know what? If if they came out with a Dreamcast too, I would be so excited. I'd everybody be so would. Happy. It's like everybody would. But you know, but my thing is, like I said, I wonder if it is, like I said, because of his success of the Yakuza series and everything. You know, the last one they had, it it was RPG. I would assume so. Normally, people get promoted based off you know the success of their past. Yeah. So you know, I I, I wonder what direction he's gonna take the, you know, just take like the whole Sega down mm -hmm. because right now it's like you you don't really hear a whole lot from Sega right now, you know? Mm -hmm. And, you know, in, in all honesty, this is another thing I'm kind of wondering. I'm wondering, um, I know it's kind of off at this right here. This is kind of generally about Sega. Okay. But, you know, I kind of like the whole Yakuza series is basically on the Xbox Game Pass and everything right now. Yeah. I kind of do wonder some of the rumors about, like, Xbox talking to Sega. Is that kind of true? Because, I mean... If if um let's say like if they do get like a bunch of money, you know, or like um I guess if they get a bunch of money from Microsoft to start producing and making games for them, mm -hmm. like is he gonna actually be behind the helm of like the new games coming out and now he's actually gonna be like, Okay, hey, we got this this new ball rolling. You know, that's that's this is me kind of speculating, you yeah. know? Yeah. I, I don't know. All I know is you got signed to Hedgehog, that's that's gotta be the way you go. Even though I'm not trying to play a new Sonic game. Mm-hmm. But I'm also not trying to play Yakuza again. But you know, but I think he'll. But I think he's gonna do a great job. But I mean, but for what they have put put out and produced, though. So I I am kind of curious to see like the direction of like the Sega games and the quality is gonna come out now. So I mean, you think he's gonna up the quality? Well, I mean, I mean, <laughs> Mike, I don't like, know. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Well, like I said, I don't know because I mean, eh, I'm just going off the merit of. The games that he's put out. I mean, I, I I would think that he would wouldn't do much for existing titles. I would think that he would probably do more as, as for, create, for the newer stuff, right? Creating or, new IPs, right? That's that's what I'm thinking. Like yeah. like what if what if like they did get some more money? I mean, I don't know. I need to look at like how much Sega is worth right now. But maybe if they do get some more money from Microsoft, like I said, they can make some newer stuff and kind of fix some of the the old stuff that they had. You know? Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Dreamcast two. Yes, please. That should have been question of the week. Y'all want to see Dreamcast too? Yeah, answer I that. think everybody wants a Dreamcast too. Y'all ready mm. for the next door? Let's go. Yes. Whoa! I'm sorry. What is this? Okay. So this is. Don't prepare for leaks because I'm not giving them. Mm -hmm. But we're not giving leaks. That's right. Mm -hmm. We're not giving leaks. But yes, they are out there. They are finding their way online. So, um, you know, the game's not supposed to be officially released until may may which is a strange date but okay yeah wait but, may what 21st oh okay but it appears that uh extensive leaks are making their way to the internet early okay. so be oh be careful on what you click on yeah mm -hmm. um because i don't want to see a spoiler like i've said that before i don't look mm -hmm. for stuff like that i don't right. i don't want to know um capcom is taking down videos online with any kind of leaks that they find so mm -hmm. they're trying to be proactive about it um, and these clips aren't, they're not clips from the Maiden um, Resident Evil Village demo that mm -hmm. we just watched. That was mm -hmm. one we just watched, right? Yeah. They're not that. They're they're totally different scenes that ha nobody has seen before. So um, thankfully, where I found this, this these people also are not leaking anything. So I was thankful mm -hmm. for that because I would have been really mad. Um, I didn't know this. This is just another piece of information, though. I didn't know this, but last November... Capcom was the victim of a massive ransomware attack. Ooh, really? Did we talk about that? Because I was like, whoa. Yeah, they... Yeah. Did they just release that information? Or No. Mm -mm. Oh, no. really? 
it was um, the hackers claimed to have stolen a trove of information, including files and internal documents, and demanded eleven million dollar Bitcoin ransom. Oh gosh, I know that's crazy. Of course, Capcom said it was a it was limited impact, mm-hmm. but I don't know for sure if that was. So mm. this is obvious. You know, the whole leaking thing is a. It seems like it's almost like a common thing now because you have data mm-hmm. miners and you have whatever. But anyway, this was just kind of like a PSA. Just be careful what so you here, click on. So here's my deal. This is mm-hmm. this is a, this is a PSA to all, all the gamers out there. Mm-hmm. You got an official, even though it's kind of whack. Yeah. You got a you got an official uh, Resident Evil Eight Village. What do you call it? What do you want to call preview it? Preview demo. I don't preview. Know. No, no, no. Like the event. Like what? Oh whatever they did they did they they gave you that they gave you re versus or verse whatever mm-hmm. it's whatever it's called they gave you a playable demo yeah they gave you a release date mm-hmm. they gave you uh extended trailers mm-hmm. i don't know why or what other reason you would need to go out and be clicking on a bunch of resident evil 8 stuff right mm-hmm. going forward after this week because mm-hmm. they gave you a whole bunch last week I don't think you need any more than that. I don't think any more than that will be available from Capcom. Mm-hmm. So whatever mm-hmm. you're clicking on after that is could be one of these leaks, and you could be you go know, could be got you mm-hmm. could get got and, get got and I'll you know spoil the whole game for you. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I'm just saying, like you don't need to click on. It. And here's the deal: mm-hmm. every time you click on it, every time you watch it. Mm-hmm. More is going to pop up. More is going to pop up, and it's going to show that yeah. that leak or whatever it is to more and more people. Mm-hmm. So. You know, just uh, again to the gaming community, don't don't support this mess. Just be patient. Um, They've yeah. given plenty. Now I know, I know it's it's been a whack kind of COVID season, and it ain't been a whole bunch of stuff to come out. And this is probably one one of the biggest games is gonna come out this year. Um, but come on, we can wait. Can Can I talk about how the internet is like losing their minds over this sexy vampire woman? Oh, really? Are they? Yeah, everybody is losing their mind over her. She's everywhere. Like she just like spread like wildfire. Like they showed the trailer to her. We saw her. We were like, oh my gosh. And just like, okay. When I saw her, when I saw her video, I was like, dang, she fine. She's like nine foot tall. She's like nine foot tall. Like if she would have come through that door right there, she would have to like literally just duck <laughs> like that, right? Well, she need to play Every- for the Mavericks. Hey man, she could, man. She probably wipe wipe all of them out. But the thing is though, is that guys dog, she's sexy. Gosh, dog. Oh, my goodness. She she got it on. My goodness. So I don't know what kind of weird <laughs> QAnon chat rooms you be Man. in. Uh, she is stacked, <laughs> classy, and sexy. Well, let me, all let, me in one. let me put it this way. I see the, I see pictures of her all over the place mm-hmm. on the internet. I don't really mm-hmm. see nobody, like, for real, for real, talking about her. What? No. Nah. Man, everybody. Man, she is, like, li- like, my gosh. I went through, like, my little Twitter deal. That's where, you know, just horrible stuff happens at. So many people are just going through their threads. Cosplayers are cosplaying this girl. She literally just like blew up. And I'm like, dang, like really? He's, he's here for it. No, I, like, I saw like one cosplayer and I saw a bunch of people asking questions mm-hmm. like the day that it was revealed. Like oh, who, bro. like who is this woman? Right. Well, maybe Mike follows yeah. different types of he people. Q-Anon. No, people, people are talking about you, you a little like, girl right here. Like, like she, she, no, you no like I ain't about the queue, man. You like cute, right? Hey, nah, man. Uh, now nah, don't put me in the queue, man. Ah. Don't put me in the queue. No, people, man, people okay. are like loving her. And then too, like the, her, those are her daughters or something there right there. They fine too, but they ain't got what she got right here. You know, people are, t- cause I don't know what it is. Everybody just got like this whole thing of this. They just want like a tall woman to just come up there with just giant claws and just stab right through them. And they okay with it. Okay. All I know is we got to play Resident Evil 7. Yes. We have to. It's still or just 8. This is 8, but we haven't played 7. Oh, really? Because we gave it away. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we that did the is giveaway. right. We did the giveaway. Oh, speaking of the giveaway, it's still coming. We still got an Xbox floating around here. X Series mm-hmm. X getting dusty. I think it's upstairs. Protected. Yeah. So it'll still happen. Oh, yeah. Get your Xbox. <laughs> just don't know when. But anyway, it'll be before Village comes out. I know that much. Are ready to wrap up the show? Yes. Do it. This is a wrap up screen. Ain't time for you to say nothing yet. Okay. Um. I oh I I think I remember what I'm supposed to say here. Been having trouble. We ain't done this in three months. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh. All the stuff that we talked about today, even Resident Evil Eight Village pre order, all that stuff will be down in the description below. Or get my pre order. Make sure you click the link.
That's it for this week's update. If you enjoyed the show, please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we release new episodes. See you next week. Don't you be afraid.